What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe. We're diving in today. We have Jonathan Miller defending his middleweight title against Arthur Jackson. We have Kasparov Vitanian defending his lightweight title against Leon Morrison. We have Jordan Holmes defending his welterweight title against Rory White. And then we have Rafi Shafiq taking on Jose Aldo for his featherweight title as well. So many titles on the line. Every single belt in Universe mode is on the line today. Then we have John Doman taking on Josiah Cook. Going to be an interesting one there. Cannot wait to see... How that one unfolds. We have Benjamins taking on Paul Felder. Paul Felder is a tough, tough dude. It's going to be interesting to see how Benjamins can fare against him. Then we have Saker taking on Anthony Pettis. I do think if these two win, we're going to put them against each other. And we're going to see who's the better man out of those guys. Moving on, we have Austin Dennison taking on Kamaru Usman. Making a return after a little bit of a layoff. And then we have Ivan Mendez taking on Cowboy Oliveira. Making his debut today. I'm excited. He's a wrestler in the welterweight division. Another one coming up. I'm excited. Let's get to it, boys. Let's get it. Welterweight debut for Ivan Mendez. I'm excited for this dude, man. It's going to be interesting to see how he can fare in the welterweight rankings. He's making his debut. A lot of eyes on him. You know, welterweight is a stacked division at the minute. And I'm looking forward to see how Ivan can impact this universe mode. But here we go. He's already going in for a takedown against Cowboy Oliveira. It's going to be such an interesting one. He's a big, big welterweight. And he loves to wrestle. So we'll see... How it fares. He's coming out of Mexico. He's from a very poor village in Mexico. We're going to see. Once he gets that takedown. We're going to see. He's already got him in a crucifix here. This is problematic for Cowboy Oliveira. He's denying a lot of these transitions already. We get him in an Americana. Can he do it? We're going to find out. Oliveira's got some good submission defense. The offense here from Ivan Mendez is pretty nice as well. Make no mistake. This will be the first Americana submission in the UFC. In the UFC universe mode, anyway. And Ivan Mendez wastes no time. Calvary Oliveira is done. What a debut for Ivan Mendez. Wow. What a start to that young man's career. Let's go, man. Let's go. Moving on, we've got some more crazy shenanigans. Austin Dennison up next against Kamaru Usman. Let's get it, man. Let's roll. Austin Dennison taking on Kumaru Usman up next. This is going to be a fun one. You know, very good wrestling from both men. Uh, I think Usman's got a better striking, but I do think, you know, Dennison could have the edge on the ground potentially. We're going to find out. Okay. Already, Dennison getting started off pretty nicely. Nice movement there from Kamaru. Dennison goes down for a takedown. Dennison is a little bit of a different grappler to uh, Ivan Mendez, what we just see. Dennison is a bit more ground and poundy than uh, than Ivan. Ivan would probably like to submit you, but Dennison's just going to maul you, you know? But we'll see. This is a big fight for Dennison. Obviously, the former welterweight champion, Amaru Usman. Let's go, Dennison, so far. Getting off with these big shots. He's going to try and get a crucifix here. That's a problem for Kamaru Usman. Dennison just ripping these shots in. Usman's in trouble. Defends that. Beautiful grappling here from Austin Dennison. And Usman is hurt. And Austin Dennison is back. Big finish for Austin. We need to start giving these guys some nicknames. So if you've got some, let me know. Let's rock and roll there, man. Let's get it. Up next, we have Seika v. Pettis. This is a big fight for him. I think if he wins this, we do get him to fight the winner of Felda Benjamins. And uh, the winner of that could be pushed towards, you know, a Conor McGregor, a Gaethje, a Khabib. Um, and then the winner of that could fight, you know, the Tanyan. So this is big stakes in these next few fights for Seika, you know. And we're going to see how he fares. He's a bit more of a volume guy. I've got to say, man. So far, he has impressed everybody. Undefeated. Dominated everyone so far. The vicious finishes. Pettis is a little bit tougher though. He's a lot more tricky than some of these other guys. I was say though, the minute Pettis is getting pieced up, Saker is just trying all kinds of mess to get at him. Trying that uppercut. Let's go. Good switch kick to the body for Pettis. 
counter work there, Saker. Man, Pet is proving to be tough here. Interesting. Good body shot. Again, lands clean. Okay. Oh, sent him down. What a high kick there for Saker. And Pet is down and out. Wow, Jay Saker gets it done. That was a nice finish. Made the read. You see the correct uh, movement there. And Saker claims another knockout. It just comes out of nowhere for this kid. You know, they, they just seem to be trading, just getting into it. And then boom, one shot and they're out. Crazy finish there for Jay Saker. The straight right high kick, old reliable. Lands clean and Pettis out cold, man. Wow, Jay Saker there wasting no time. Let's go. Moving on. We have Benjamins taking on Paul Felder. Let's go. The winner of that fight will fight Saker. Let's go, man. High stakes. The Irish Dragon is a tough fight for anyone in this division. But how will the riot fare against Paul Felder? That is the question. We're going to see how it all unfolds, man. I am super excited. I'm looking forward to seeing how Benjamin, you know, if he wins this fight, he's, he's taking on Saker as well. So there's high stakes to this one. And the winner of that fight, you know, will be pushed towards a title shot. So, ooh, good shot there from Felder. We've got some of that too. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. Nice. Good shot there for Benjamins. Okay. Oh, okay. Felder is tough, man. He is very tough. He always brings it, you know. Benjamins is a little bit more flashy. Ooh, saying that. Look at that shot from Felder. Okay. Trying to bait him in. It's not working. Good shot there for Felder. He's actually rocked in there. Wow. Good shot. Ooh. Just trying to get at it. Nice. Man, proving to be tough. I knew Felder was always going to be a tough one, but. Flipped him. Trying to land something big, but Felder biting down on the mouthpiece and proving to be difficult early. We might clip him, but he's known for his toughness, you know? There we go. Big shot. And Felder's out. Wow. Benjamins. Okay. This is what I mean about these new guys coming up. They, they look like they're either struggling or they're just getting into the fight. And then boom. And they're out. Paul Felder just gets knocked out like that. Okay. It's Jake Benjamins v. Um, v. J. Saker in the next one. Two of the division's elite starting to become. Wow. Clipped him. And as he went down, we hit him on the way down and knocked him out. Wow. Big finish there. For Benjamins, let's go, man! A lot of finishes on this uh, on this card so far, and we're gonna keep going, man. We're gonna rock and roll. Let's keep it going, man. Let's keep these fights flowing. So the first subscriber v subscriber fight of the evening. Let's rock and roll. We got John Doman taking on Josiah Cook. Going to be an interesting one. Cook is ranked number twelve in the pound for pounds. His record is twelve and one. And John Doman is ranked. Uh, he's pretty low in the rankings, actually. John Doman. He's had a bit of inactivity. He's ranked 18th in the pound for pounds uh, rankings, and he's 18 and 6. John Doman, the former middleweight champion, though, he's moved down, he's moved up, he's moved around in loads of different weight classes, um, and he's here ag there again tonight against Josiah Cook. It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think Doman does hit harder, but I think Cook has more stamina, and he's going to try and wear him down. But we'll see how it goes, man. Early on, I'm excited. I don't know who I'd like to see get it done. I think. Um, It'd be nice to see a return for Cook, but also Doman, you know. It'd be nice to see him keep this win streak going. He beat Austin Dennison in his last fight, which was a little while ago now. I think Doman and Dennison both had uh, had some, you know, time off after that fight. It's going to be interesting. Doman there early with the flare shots. Okay, we're going to see. Good body shot there for Cook. 
Nice boxing. Doman was hurt to the body there for a fair bit. Okay. Lovely body work for Cook. Nice shot there for Doman, though. Good body shot again. Okay. High kick there. He's known for the high kicks, man. Shin to the Doman. That's what they used to call him back in the day. He's one of the OGs as well. Debuted in episode one. John Doman is a, a legend in this universe, you know. Will he get Hall of Fame? I don't know. I think... Uh, oh, big shot there, though. And Cook is buckled. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a real good one, man. Cook's rocked him. Doman rocked him. No, they're ro oh, Cook uh, drops Doman. This is a good fight, man. I love it when they're like this. And then Cook lands again. And Doman wobbling. And Josiah Cook trying to close the show. Nice jab. And a leg kick there. Okay. Good straight there for Doman. Double jab too. Doman's one of these guys who's a bit of an older dude in the division now. Obviously, Josiah Cook is like a young, upcoming fighter. Um, so it's interesting. Will the old warrior still have enough in his locker to take out Josiah Cook? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. Ooh, mere inches away from the chin of John Doman. there for both men. I always love seeing fights like this, you know, because Doman, he's had an up and down career. He's had some good wins. Of course, he was the first middleweight champion on the universe, you know, so I think he put him in the Hall of Fame just for that, but we'll see. We'll see. Big shots. Big shots. Okay. Double jab there. Interesting fight so far. It's been very back and forth, you know. Both knockdowns, both rocks. It's been very back and forth. I feel like Cook is being a bit more of the aggressor here. Doman had a good start early, though. I don't know who took that round. That was very, very close. We're going to see round two coming up. Or is it round two? Yeah, round two's coming up. Round three, I thought it was for a minute. Round two. Crazy to think that was only the first round and it was absolute chaos. Oh, Doman lands clean. And Cook rocked again. If Cook can stick to his boxing and kind of walk Doman down, he'll have some success. But he's got to get in on that inside. Which isn't easy to do against Doman. Doman's gone for a lot of power, not a lot of stamina. So we're going to see if that benefits him. Let me know what you think about his new look as well. It kind of suits him, I think. Like an old veteran. Veteran of the game. Good timing on these shots for both men. They're both letting their hands go. Good shot. Nice check there for Cook. And Doman now limping. Okay. Oh, and a big body shot there for Cook. Beautiful timing on it. Doman is hurt, man. He's busted after that. Kind of a bad shot for him. Nice leg kick. Oh. Okay. This has been a fun one. Oh, and Josiah Cook lands clean again. Fuck kick there. Doman's wasted, man. He's tired. Already, this is not looking good for John Doman. He uses up a lot of stamina heavy moves. And Cook now. Is he able to capitalise on John Doman's low stamina? We're going to find out. Cook walking forward. Nice slip there for the veteran. And he knocks Cook out. Clean with one high kick. John Doman is back. Clean as a whistle. Everyone thought, uh, myself included, you know, John Doman was fading a little bit in that fight. I thought Cook was going to come in and land something clean. But man... Cook dropped his hands. He tried to go for the kill. And John Doman just does what he does. Shin to the Doman. Boom. Out goes Josiah Cook. Doman is back and better than ever. Taking out the youngest and best prospect we've seen in a long time. Wow. The veteran still gets it done. Moving on, we have our first title fight. 
Great future feet taken on Jose Aldo up next. Let's get it, man. I'm excited. Now we have the return of the featherweight king, Rafi Shafiq, taking on Jose Aldo in another featherweight title defense. In his last fight, he beat Brady Mayfield. Shafiq is looking very good in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. I believe he's number four. He's a, he's a pretty good fighter, man. And we're going to see if Shafiq can get another win here tonight. He's taking on Jose Aldo, a legend in the featherweight division. So I feel like Shafiq's kickboxing, I was just about to say, I feel like it's going to be the difference in this one. The range, he's a big featherweight. Ready, Shafiq placed him on the canvas. Okay, nice shots. Nice shot there for Shafiq. Nice spin. Aldo coming in a little bit messy here. Okay. Again. Fight for Rafi, man. He's landed clean. Aldo down again. Rafi Shafiq knocks him down. Shafiq looking for the finish. Rafi Shafiq in round number one. What a finish. Still the featherweight champion. Too easy for Rafi Shafiq. Wow. Moving on, we have Jordan Holmes taking on Rory White. That one's going to be fun, man. I'm looking forward to that. Let's see how it unfolds, man. Is Jordan going to cling on to that welterweight belt? Or is he going to fall short? We're going to find out. Let's go. The welterweight title is on the line. The Hatchet Man is making his return against Rory White. This is going to be another very, very exciting fight. I don't know how it goes, man. Rory looked very good in his last fight against Josiah. But, um, you know, the, everyone... Gets beat in the end, you know, <laughs> and this could be his time, you know. He's actually lost before, but White is, uh, he's 10 and 1. He's 10 and 1. His only loss is to Austin Dennison in the welterweight division. Uh, he's ranked number, uh, what's Rory White? He's ranked number 6 in the pound for pound. Jordan Holmes is ranked number 3. Holmes' record is 23 and 2. White's record is 10 and 1. Going to be interesting. White has, like, clawed his way back up to this welterweight division to try and get a title shot with a hatchet man. And here he is, standing in front of him. We're going to see how it goes, man. The Hatchet Man, is he going to claim another victim? We're going to find out. Good shot to the body early for Jordan. He's already attacking them legs. Good head kick there for White. Both guys hit incredibly hard. They're no Arthur Jackson, but they hit incredibly hard. And we'll see how it unfolds, man. I'm excited for this fight. Holmes there, leaving himself open for that shot, but he clips Rory White there, and he's down already. And Jordan Holmes throwing lever early, and he rocks him to the body, and down goes White. No time wasted so far in any of these fights, man. Good shots in the clinch there for White. He's doing a decent there. He does eat a knee. And Holmes is looking a different animal so far. High kick there. Got to give credit to White for eating that. A lot of people would have been knocked out there. Holmes is just stalking his prey, man. So far, absolutely stalking Rory White. Body kick is missed there. Beautiful shot. One of the nicest combinations we've seen in a while. Body shot overhand to Jordan Holmes. And down goes Rory White. White's still in this, though. He just needs to cover up. He hasn't blocked many shots so far. Holmes is just teeing off at will here. Got to give credit to Holmes, man. He's throwing some incredible combinations out there. And he's looking good. And he's dropped him again. Rory White down. Holmes looking for the finish. The defense of Rory. And the heart of uh, White. The determination is there. Holmes posturing up again, though. He's looking to close the show. And he does. Jordan Holmes. Still the welterweight champion. Too easy. Takes out Rory White in round number one. Holy shit. The Hatchet Man is back, officially. Y'all must have forgot <laughs> if you thought he was done. Crazy. Jordan Holmes with another title defense there. Takes out Rory White with a beautiful shot there. Crazy finish for him. Up next, we have Kasperi Vatanian defending his belt against Leon Morrison. That was one of my favorite shots. That body shot there and then the overhand. 
Beautiful level change there when it came to dipping and then coming over the top. Beautiful shot. Anyway, up next, Vertanyan, the Leon Morrison, the pound for pound king, Kasper Vertanyan. Can he hold on to that and his belt? We're going to find out. Again, another title fight, man. We've done two so far. Jordan Holmes and Shafiq have defended their belt. Can Vertanyan join that club? We're going to find out. Kasper Vertanyan has looked good, so good in his last few fights. He's 20 and 3. He's number one pound for pound and the rankings and uh leon morrison is ranked number seven leon morrison 14 and 2 casper vertanian 20 and 3 we're going to see how this goes man leon morrison is one of these guys he's very rangy and that could cause some problems for vertanian um but we'll see we'll see how it goes man i'm excited vertanian has looked so good in his last few fights beating ivan beating thomas lav twice he's had some really really good defenses and he's here again tonight against a hungry challenger in leon morrison leon morrison's got that range on him though he needs to watch that we will see. Good step in 1-2 there for Kasperi. Leon is very tricky as well. He's got some nice kicks. So vatanyan has got to watch that. Big shots to the body for Leon. Nice 1-2. Oh, Leon Morrison there looking good. Nice left hand there. Kasperi a little bit behind so far in this fight. Getting clipped a little bit, but... I would never count him out. He's just too good. We will see. Oh, and that is why. Vertanyan. All it takes is one. Nice catch there. One, two. That's a beautiful shot there. Oh, shot swing and a miss. Both men. And again. A lot of shots not landing clean here for both guys. Jab from Vatanyan. Kasper, he's got this mentality and he's creator. He'll fight anybody. He's a savage, man. Good shot. Two shots there. Nice slip there for Vatanyan. Getting out of the way of that punch. Shot there for Leon. Okay. Good body shot. And shots are adding up. Look at the side of Leon Morrison. Good body shot there though for Leon. Nice slip there for Vitanian. They are getting after it early, man. That's what you want to see. Ooh. Front kick there, drops him. Leon back to his feet though. Oh, and a big overhand lands clean of Italians now. Uh, wow, what a fight. Okay. A lot of kicks being thrown. High kick there. And a Superman punch drops Morrison. Can Vatanian close the show on that? No, Leon Morrison's still in this fight, man. Wow. Okay. Good uppercut there. Morrison clipped again. So many finishes. So many early finishes in this card, man. It's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. One, two there for Morrison. And a nice body shot. It was a little bit after the bell, but it is what it is. Let's keep going. Okay. Vatanian, I don't know. He might have took that round, in my opinion. I don't actually know. It was close, though. I know that. Morrison landed some very nice strikes as well. Which makes it even more fun. Big shot. Oh. Big body shot. Nice uppercut. Okay. A lot of that, like, kicking to the body. A lot of, like, weird front kicks and stuff. Oh, but he's rocked again. And down goes Morrison. Vatanian, if he closes the show here, that's crazy. Still the greatest of all time so far. The pound for pound goat, Casperi Vertanian. Defends his belt once more. Up next, we have the main event. Jonathan Miller defending his middleweight title against Arthur Jackson. We're going to see how that one unfolds, man. I am super excited. Let's go. 
main event is here. Jonathan Miller v. Arthur Jackson. I am super, super excited for this one, man. Jonathan Miller has looked incredible at middleweight. He's actually undefeated at middleweight with so many wins and uh, so many finishes. Miller is ranked number two, pound for pound, 20 and six. Arthur Jackson is ranked number five, pound for pound, 14 and five. Arthur Jackson's last fight, though, he absolutely melted Chan Chai. He got in there and he smoked him. Landed about three punches and he was out. So, you know, Jackson's probably the hardest hitting guy on the roster, in my opinion. And uh, Miller's standing across from him tonight. It's got to be a little bit scary knowing that this man can shut the lights out in two shots. But we'll see already. Oh, the Jackson. I'm on the edge of my seat. He drops Jonathan Miller with the first shot he threw. Miller cannot play without power. That would have been absolutely... If he had closed the show there, oh my, I would have lost it. I would have thrown my Xbox out the window. Anyway, <laughs> Miller here got him in a rubber guard. Miller now landed some shots. Arthur's got to watch out on the ground because Miller is very good and he's going for a submission here. Arthur's no scrub on the ground either. He's trying to chain this, but I do think Arthur's out. The problem for Miller is if this goes back to the feet, Arthur can land one shot and close it. Oh no, oh no. This is bad for Miller if he can stay there. He's just got to shoot, and he does. Good takedown there for Jonathan Miller. And now we're going to see. Miller postures up. Denies the transition. Okay. Side saddle here for Jonathan Miller. There's a cut on the eye of Arthur Jackson. He's got him in a headlock. <laughs> we'll see. Can Jackson get out of this? Jackson is a very, very good submission specialist and jiu-jitsu practitioner in his own right. I don't know if he's the same level as Miller. As we see there, Jackson lands one shot. That's all he needs. He's looking to get this fight standing. That is obvious. He needs this fight standing. Look at the shot he landed. He mounts him here. If he can posture up here, he'd be in trouble. Jackson landing clean. Miller reverses. Shots landed. Can he get up? Miller denies. Nice. Good grappling here for Jonathan Miller. Miller has said he's only got four more fights left in universe and he's planning to hang them up. Jackson, uh, Chan Chai or Smith, and then Tomislav, I believe. I think there might be one more in there as well. We could do we could do Jay King. We can do someone. I'm going to try and convince him to stay. <laughs> but that's up to him. Anyway, submission here. Miller's getting closer with his submissions, though. He is. He's probably not going to get this one. He's getting closer. Arthur needs to watch out for that. The benefit to this is, though, is uh, every round starts on the feet. And Arthur's going to have... Oh, that was nice. That's what I mean. Arthur's no scrub on the ground, either. Every round starts on the feet, and that is going to benefit Arthur more than it is Miller. So, you know. Yeah, Arthur got the knockdown in that round very, very early. But um, apart from that, I think Miller won the round. I think uh, you've got to give it to Arthur, though. 10 8. We'll see, Miller cannot, cannot stand with Arthur Jackson. He's down again. He cannot stand with Arthur. We will see. If Miller can get hold of Arthur. It's out, though. Arthur Jackson sleeps Jonathan Miller in the second. He is the new middleweight champion. Wow. Wow. Jonathan Miller walks into a head kick. And the dynamite has taken over. High kick from Arthur Jackson. He's the new middleweight champion. Wow. Jonathan Miller crashes out of title fight contention. He is out now. Then we could do the trilogy. We could do the trilogy. Um... I know Miller's got some fight plans already, but we could do the trilogy, you know. Um, they've got one win over each other, but Arthur Jackson now is the middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. referee Herb Dean's called big, to big contest. finish there. The Jackson, of both of these guys two. are like my favorite Point fighters, so this, this was kind of sad. 
But Jackson finally gets that gold belt around his waist. It's been a long time coming. And I'm happy for him. I, I like Miller and Jackson. I like them all, but, you know, Jackson's one of my favourites just because he's got that incredible power. And we see it land there. Arthur Jackson, the new middleweight champion. Right, boys, for today's episode, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more UFC Universe next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have an amazing day. See you all again in the next one.